Hello everyone and you're welcome. In our last lesson, we saw how we work with JSON files and we were able to load this JSON file example and then use the JSON.loads to actually load this JSON file. And then we checked the file type and saw that it was a dictionary. And then we created another file and we, another file and we used JSON.dump and saw information that we've written to that file. Now that's for JSON files. Another important file format that you're gonna use with maps is the GeoJSON. Now this GeoJSON includes includes line, polygons, and points. And it basically used this to map uh, sections of a map, such as streets, highways, you know, locations, and boundaries. Now, these are examples of how, you know, uh, GeoJSON files look like. They kind of like similar to a dictionary where we have a key value pair, and then we can also have a list of key value pair relationships. And we're gonna see a few examples. Now, GeoJSON is important. I'll just give us a uh, quick heads up on what we can actually work with uh, GeoJSON. Now, another very important plugin or module we require is the GeoPandas module. Now, the GeoPandas module allows us to work with JSON and GeoJSON. So in our examples of how we're gonna be working with uh, GeoPandas, we're gonna see how we can load GeoPandas and create those shapes we saw in our Wikipedia example page. And we can also see how we can make plots using GeoPandas. Basically, we can read GeoJSON data and GeoJSON data by using GeoPandas, as we're gonna see in our example, where we're going to load the elections uh, JSON data, like we see it right here. We're loading the uh, elections GeoJSON data, and we're going to use that in combination with GeoPandas to actually see a plot of the election winners based on a district. So we can actually see this information. So with that said, let's just go ahead and see how we can install the requirements for GeoPandas. Now GeoPandas requires uh, Descrates, which is actually another uh, module. So let's go ahead and see how we can in install those uh, dependencies. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to my uh, Open My Anaconda Navigator, and then just right here where it says uh, Environments, I'm going to switch to my Plotly environment because that's the uh, environment I'm gonna be using to actually install the modules I need. So I'm just gonna install, switch up to the Plotly environment and I'm going to open up the command line and I'm going to do my PIP install for GeoPandas and Descretes. So now that I've switched my environment to my Plotly environment, because I wouldn't want to be installing any modules to my base root, I'm just gonna go back to my home page and we can actually run the Anaconda shell, but I'll just, uh, I'd like to search for it so I can actually uh, run that shell and set my environment and then see the modules I need. So what I'm going to do is just to say Anaconda, Anaconda PowerShell, and I'll just click on Anaconda Prompt or the Anaconda PowerShell just to have that Anaconda prompt. Also what I like to do is to just make this uh, slightly big because I want everyone to see the uh, font size. I'll just set a value to 28 and make that quite large so we can all see it. So what I'm going to do right now is to set my uh, environment with code. So what I'm going to do is say uh, Conda, activate plotly env, which is the environment I created. Please, if you don't know how to create the, uh, uh, okay, it says, uh, did you mean Conda activate? All right, sorry about that, guys. There was a typographical error. Let me just go ahead and set this to activate, not activate. Conda activate plotly env, just like that. So we've actually set our plotly environment. What this simply means is this is the environment which we're gonna be working on where we have it in our Anaconda. This plotly environment, we're just activating that using the command line so we can do our installs right here. So the first thing I'm going to install is my GeoPandas. So I'll just do a PIP install GeoPandas, just like that. Now I already have this installed. So it's gonna tell me my requirements are already satisfied. And it's going to install GeoPandas with the required dependencies. One important dependency is Fiona, and we can see it right here, is gonna install Fiona also. So uh, make sure you, uh, it has all the dependencies you need. You're just gonna click yes and install that. So another install I'm going to do right now is to do a PIP install for this credits, right? Discretes. So I'm just gonna say PIP 
install test crates just like that I already have that also installed so it's going to tell me that that requirement is already satisfied now desk crates is going to allow us to use geometric objects from matplotlib such as matplotlib patches and the path so that we can actually have these uh, objects and we can use that to display geographic data so that's really important to in install uh, desk crates So after we've installed disk crates, let's just head back to our Jupyter Notebook. Let's create a project and start seeing how we can work with uh, Plotly and GeoJSON files to render map data. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next lesson.